First of all, I love the horse because it's my favorite animal. Uh, second was done with wine barrels. That's pretty amazing. Like I was like, oh my God, man, who does that? How's that possible? And um, he came in here and said, what about if I leave it over there to expose it? If anybody wants it or whatever, show, uh, to showcase my work. I said, well, why not? After five or six months, I started falling in love with the horse. I said, God forbid somebody wants to buy the horse. I, w I won't let it go. I said, listen, um, I want to purchase the horse. You have no idea how many people come just to see that art. Even they go to eat or drink in the bar, they just sneak in. Oh my God, I love that. So I really recommend him to everybody. People see this, this art that will stay with your house or with your business or with you forever. And it's something you have to love it. It have to be over there and sticked in the wall. And it's not gonna move. That's his artwork in here at La Foresta. Um, we're at La Foresta, where I have um, four sculptures currently, and I'm um, almost finished with what I think is the coolest one I've ever made, which is an eagle. Um, and the reason we're here, how this all came to be, is there was a gap from where I started to make things from wine barrels. Um, and I stopped making things from wine barrels for a couple of years. And I started um, to build horse just to fill some time in the winter. Everything I made, I did what, what's called um, staying true to the stave. In other words, I didn't manipulate the stave. So everything's size was based on the scale, uh, the, the, the length and the size of the stave. So sole, which is the sun, was seven feet across. Um, the shark, which was my first real, what I would call, sculpture, um, was huge. And I said to myself, you know, I have to scale this thing down because it's limited to who can buy it and where they can put it. So I started on horse, and all I was going to do was make the head. So it took me a long time to just get the head because the head and the face is the personality. And I got stuck on the head forever. And I'd play with it and I've got pictures of where it looks nothing like it does now. And then I got the facial look. I got the mouth and then literally like a month later I got the eyeball. I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a shoulder in there and maybe a foot, a leg, and just see what that looks like. And so I just kept going. When horse was the size he is now, I was kind of shaking my head and I thought, there's no, who can, where's this gonna go? And it was literally laying on the shop floor. A friend of mine and I came here and I had a picture of it and he'd, had, he'd never seen it, my friend Doug. And um, I was showing it to him at the bar. And the bartender said, happened to look over and it wasn't that busy so we were kind of talking to him and he said, what is that? I said, well I make things out of wine barrels and this is a horse that I've almost done with. And he said, that's really cool. The owner, Francesco, loves horses. Can I show this to him? So Francesco came over, he looked at the horse and he said, I have to have that. And I said, well, I don't think you understand how big it is. It, like, it's, it's huge. And he said, well, come into the dining room. And I had never been in the dining room. So we came in the dining room and I said, well, yeah, I'll put it on that wall. And he said, no, I want it on that wall. So we went back and forth and I said, all right, I'll put it on that wall.